Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Hydrogen peroxide is a both reducing as well as oxidizing agent. Let us see how to balance this redox reaction by using a beautiful mnemonic. Anna, Wolof, Raffensel and Bell all enjoy original hot chocolate. Look at the first step. In Cl2O7, the oxidation number of chlorine is plus 7. In H2O2, it is peroxide. So in peroxide, oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1. So for oxygen, minus 1. In ClO2 minus, oxidation number of chlorine is plus 3. Plus 3. Oxygen, it is, uh, it is in uncombined state, natural state. So that oxidation number is 0. So we completed the first step. Second step, oxidation half reaction. We are going to split the whole reactions into two half reaction, oxidation half reaction and you can see that in the third step reduction half reaction. So we can write it like OH oxidation half reaction and RH reduction half reaction. What is oxidation? Increase in oxidation number we called as a oxidation. So here if you see that in H2O2 oxidation number increased from minus 1 to 0. Number difference is there. So, one electron. Reduction is gaining electron. That means oxidation number is reduced. So, in Cl2O7, oxidation number plus 7 to plus 3, it is reduced in ClO2 minus. So, let us write here. How many numbers difference is there? 4 numbers. So, 4 electrons are gained here and converted into Cl. O2 minus. Per atom we are writing the number of electrons lost or gained. But uh, one oxygen atom, one electron. But here two oxygen atoms are there. So it is not one electron, it is two electrons. Now we can go to the next step. Balance. What we are going to balance? Balance atoms except oxygen and hydrogen. But uh, this H2O2 is an exceptional case. Even though that number of oxygen atom is equal only. So we can see that here Cl2O7, two chlorine atoms are here, but that here only one chlorine atom. So we need to write two as a coefficient. When you are writing, you should see that the number of electron also changing because per chlorine atom, four electrons. But now two chlorine atoms. So it is not four electrons, it is eight electrons. This step is very, very important step after balancing atoms next we go to balance electrons because in redox reactions number of electrons lost should be equal to number of electrons gained so it means here if it is eight electron here also we need eight electrons but we have here two electrons only so to make it eight here we need to multiply with four here you should see the whole half reaction we need to multiply with four to avoid the confusion, this side we multiply with 1 and write that once again we rewrite the reaction. So H2O2. Electrons on both sides are equal. So we can cancel this electron. Once this step is over, now we go to rewrite that reactions. Now Cl2O7, there is no change in that coefficient. Next step is balance after balancing electrons now we go to balance oxygen atom then hydrogen atom one instruction is here if the redox reaction has, has h plus or oh minus ions always use h plus and oh minus for balancing hydrogen atom in this redox reaction you can see that h plus is present isn't it so that h plus can be balanced while balancing hydrogen atoms so now see here Add H2O to balance oxygen atoms. In the left hand side, we have that 7 plus 4 twos are 8. So 7 plus 8, 15 oxygen atoms are there. In the right hand side, if you see 2 twos are 4, then here 4 twos are 8. So 4 plus 8, 12 oxygen atoms are there. So how many oxygen atoms are less? 3 oxygen atoms are less. So we need to add 3 H2O. So let us write this side. 
So after balancing oxygen atoms, we go to balance hydrogen atoms. So for balancing that hydrogen atoms, again you check that in the left hand side, eight hydrogen atoms are present, but that here three twos are six, six hydrogen atoms are present. So two hydrogen atom less. But according as per the instruction, now we go to write two H plus and two OH minus instead of two H2O. So we go to write 2H plus. So already we have that H plus. So instead the front of that we are going to write 2H plus and H minus. Also add equal number of OH minus ions on other side for basic medium. So we are going to write that 2 OH minus ions on the other side. Last step is charge. So checking the charge is the checking the answer itself. So here if you see the 2 minus charge is present because 2 OH minus the same way here also 2 minus charge. So now 2 H plus and 2 OH minus this can be add together and we can get 2 H2O. Isn't it? So this one this we can strike it out and we can write 2 H2O. So this 2 H2O and 3 H2O we can write it like 5 H2O. So that charge we have only 2 minus. So both side also we are having that equal and opposite charges are present. So this reaction is perfectly balanced. So the complete and perfect balanced equation for this reaction is in Cl2O7 plus 4H2O2 that gives 2 CLO2 minus plus 4O2 plus 5H2O. Thanks for watching.